Last week, Baton Rouge was selected as host city for this year's Miss USA Beauty Pageant. In my opinion, beauty pageants promote a skewed idea of beauty and represent our society's obsession with outward appearances. Here's what students had to say about beauty pageants and how they affect the female psyche and our culture. I think they're for a good cause. I mean, uh, it can be a little bit stereotypical, I guess, of people walking out there in bathing suits and getting judged off of that. But I think as far as, you know, getting asked questions and having good opinions on that and being judged off that, I think it's a good cause. I don't know if there's, I don't feel like there's like not much substance to them, honestly. It's just girls walking around spending all this money on clothes and stuff. It's just kind of unnecessary. I feel like it's an opportunity for some girls to shine over others, I guess. But aren't most beauty pageants for uh, scholarships and stuff anyway, so what's the harm? I personally am not a fan of beauty pageants. I think women have every right to do them, present themselves however they would like, but I don't think it really does a lot for the cause, for the, like a feminist cause, you know? I just, I don't think it really shows women in a positive light. In general, I really just feel like uh, beauty pageants are pretty interesting. Uh, personally, you know, if I was going to watch it as a guy, it would be more just because most of the females are attractive, and uh, for me, that's usually more of what I would be focusing on in a beauty pageant, I guess. It's also good to appreciate someone's beauty, but it seems to be done in a way that's not conducive, I think, to just how we view people. Uh, and I think most of the questions that they ask seem pretty, just, not a lot of thought goes into them. You know, it's like questions like, what do you think about world peace? It's like, well, what do you think I think about world peace? Because that's just from the set of eyes of the judges. I don't think they can speak for a whole culture of people. And from a male perspective, I guess, I mean, I guess it could be a little bit, uh, I don't know, a little bit of us viewing women more on their looks than anything else. I think that we're starting to view these things as negative because of the objectification in it. Uh, but I still think that the fact that it's so widely accepted uh, or rejected, you know, whatever happens in the majority will say a lot about how our society views women. Uh, I don't think it's good for women's self-esteem at all just because I mean, everyone looks the same, they all have the same hair, the same makeup, the same body type, and it's just not very realistic of what actual people usually look like, and I think it puts a lot of pressure on girls that they think this is the only ideal of beauty. Rather than obey the model beauty pageant set up for them, women should pursue their own careers and ideas of beauty. Until next time, this is Annette Summers with The Daily Reveille.